evening, everyone. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to address you tonight concerning the role of campus law enforcement during the First Amendment protected events. It feels very unpopular to be up here right now. <laughs> As articulated in the United States Constitution, one of the freedoms guaranteed by the First Amendment is the right of persons and groups to assemble peacefully. Whether the assembly is demonstrating, counter-demonstrating, or simply showing to support for a cause, individuals and groups have the absolute right to peacefully assemble. The UNH police has the responsibility to ensure public safety while protecting the privacy and associated rights of individuals. UNH has policies and guidelines. These policies and guidelines require permits for the use of properties, and these policies place restrictions on time, place, manner, and the conduct of these events. Events are evaluated to address not only public safety, but liability issues, but more importantly, they address the impact on the normal operation of a really vibrant UNH campus environment. When reflecting on this, there's some things that I want to share with you about the UNH Police Department. They help me be guide the discussion tonight, and these are some of the things that I've been thinking about personally since this movement has turned in a rather negative way. The UNH Police Department is a nationally accredited law enforcement agency, and our policies meet strict national standards. However, policies are just words on paper. They're no good unless there's leadership, and the leadership that guides their actual application. Chuck Wexler, the executive director of the Police Executive Research Forum, recently said, what keeps police chiefs up at night is that somehow the purpose of the movement will become about the actions that police have taken. I too have those same concerns. Some Occupy supporters view law enforcement as a part of the bought and paid for corporate machine. And yet those who support the actions of the removal of the Occupy movement still perceive the police as part of big government. So where do we fit? To me, quite frankly, it's all about leadership. And here's what I'm doing on the UNH campus when it comes to leadership around this movement. First, I've taken steps to ensure that all UNH police officers clearly understand my expectations in policing the First Amendment protected events on this campus. All police officers have been retrained on the use of department policies and specifically on the use of force. And I've specifically overseen that. Lastly, it's really important for you to know, and which has always been, officers know the use of pepper spray in nonviolent situations is absolutely strictly prohibited and will not be used on this campus. Finally, this is not the first time that I've been faced with campus First Amendment protected events, especially during my 21 years here at UNH. I have found police relationships with students, faculty, and staff, regardless of their position on, on any issue, largely uncontroversial, and the UNH police have stayed hands off. UNH has a strong sense of community. It's seen here tonight and there's a large respect for one another. It is my personal belief as a member of this community for 21 years that that very sense of community, that respect, is what makes us strong regardless of our differences. Thank you again for allowing me to speak to you tonight and I hope to engage you all in conversation.